let's talk about another uh, classic uh, moment or kind of infamous moment, shall we say? If you guys know about the Saison matchy or also the yeah. gas, I love this, the ghastly <laughs> match. <laughs> let's talk about the ghastly match, guys. This is uh, very controversial what happened here. Yeah, it's uh, it's certainly we talked about a skeleton in the Oshirai's closet. This is uh, this is certainly a a moment that stardom has desperately, desperately tried to scrub from his history. Um, so back in February of 2015 in uh, in Corrigan Hall, the world of stardom champion at the time, Yoshiko, um, was taking on a woman called Akti Yasukawa um, for the championship. And uh, about eight minutes in, something like that, um, Yoshiko, uh, for reasons unknown, went rogue. Um, and started very much assaulting out Yasukawa for real. Um, broke orbital bones, her nose, her there was contusions all over Act's face. Um, she already had a history of eye injuries. Um, and obviously, this did not help. She was an absolute mess, and it actually took. Um, one of the wrestlers throwing in a towel for the referee to stop it. And it's that's another thing. The referee didn't stop it when he saw what Yushiko was doing. And if you look up images of Yushiko, she is a very, very powerful woman. So the damage she did, yeah, it's, it was a whole thing. The injuries were very real from Act. Yushiko was stripped to the title and she was then obviously kicked out of the company. Um, Nene Takahashi, who I mentioned earlier, she was Yushiko's mentor. She left the company as well off the back of this. Um, And this was how basically Seedling, another Joshi promotion in Japan, started because that was Nene's promotion after she left Stardom. Um, But yeah, it is a very uncomfortable watch um if you haven't seen it i'm not going to tell you where to see it because it is <laughs> it's quite gross yeah. i'm not going to lie it takes a lot to uh, to my stomach but yushiko does a number on act it's it's one of those where similar with the kenny omega match it's something that people know about stardom um yushiko has been back to the company since um, I mentioned that they'd run Budokan Hall in 2021. Yoshiko had a special singles match, her first time back in six years to battle Mayu Iwatani, um, which was obviously a match. Yeah, yeah, great match. Well, great no, match. Must see. Um, but the fact that she was allowed back was a massive thing, a massive, massive thing. But yes, the oh, ghastly sure. match, as, she's no- as it's known. Um, have you seen it, Chris? I haven't. I'm just checking it out. Diagnosed with a fractured cheek. Broken nasal bone, broken mm-hmm. orbital bone, required surgery. Uh, they both got, uh, there was 30% pay cut for the next three months to start and ban face punches from the promotion. Uh, they really took it seriously. There must have been a real shit kicking going on here. Oh, it was. It was utterly brutal. Utterly brutal. But uh, thankfully, obviously, it wasn't the end of the company, and the company has managed to do all right since. And thankfully, about, Yoshiko's a lot better now as well. She seems to be in a lot better place. Once again, that sort of stuff gets, you know, it gets the type of press that puts your company on the map. It reminds me of the uh, Choshu Akira Maeda, where he kicked him in the face and broke Shoot. his orbital bone. Yep. That led to huge business between, uh, you know, UWFI and New Japan. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It, it would have been interesting to see how they would have capitalized on that. But I think with just the injuries yeah. that Yasukawa ended up with, I mean, even if you Google pictures of her face mm-hmm. after this match, it's, she looks complete. It, it's, she looks like a completely different person. Um, it's crazy, Ron, because, you know, you, I understand, you know, getting to a little bit of a shoot in the ring or like you know, a mistimed blow, but they mm-hmm. must've just been beating the shit out of each other for multiple punches and it was definitely uh something that was being done on purpose for sure oh absolutely and i think as well what makes it more bizarre there are there are rumors as to why this happened but it's never been confirmed as to why yoshiko flipped i mean these two act jessica and she uh, yoshiko had been in a stable together not long before this so they knew each other um but an act, some people say it was a misplaced kick from act and that flipped Yoshiko and she just went to town. Um, some people think it was something to do with backstage politics and things like that. Either way, it ended in uh, a match that, you know, even what, eight years in the uh, in the future is still being talked about now for uh, for its level of brutality and its infamy. 
Yeah, we've noticed since the growth of stardom that that is one question that does come up from time to time for Rob and I to uh, to comment on it. So, uh, yeah, it's, it is infamous, but at the same time, there's also that saying, Chris, uh, there's no such thing as bad press. So, yeah, yeah.